welcome to my kitchen floor. I am sitting here because I want to DIY and my DIY involves paint and I don't want it to get on the carpet and so we are sitting in my kitchen floor. This probably looks ridiculous but I have this vision. We have these plain white curtains that are in the living room. They're fine, like they're cute, they're fine. They're just white curtains, okay? But I, I want to add a little pizzazz to the living room and I really want wallpaper but I'm not going to wallpaper this rental because that's, that's just not a good idea, I don't think. So instead of that, I am going to paint on some curtains. Also not sure if that is a good idea. And I really, really like the Dalmatian print trend that's going on right now. I see Dalmatian print everywhere. And I want to jump on that bandwagon. Also, I have a camera right here because I'm going to try to be like a proper YouTuber and like get different angles of what's happening here. I don't know if I'll use these inserts. I hope I do while I'm editing, but who knows? It's recording. Okay. Oh, I believe when people are using multiple cameras, like one here, one here, um, they clap so that everything can sync up when you're editing. So we're going to clap. All right. Ready? One, two, three. I'm pulling up an inspiration photo so I can get some inspo which is exactly what an inspiration photo is okay let's open it over here so this DIY is already not working out um do you see what's happening here do you see that it's not opening what is happening oh yeah oh yeah baby I got it Okay, okay, we're gonna use this brush. This is like a 10, it just says 10, so I don't know what that is. Perhaps a size 10, I'm not sure. But from my understanding, this is the side that you want to um, put facing the window, so this faces the outside, and you can talk about like the grommets, I think that's what this is called. Um, oh, oh yeah, I have this camera here. Huh. So this is called like a grommet, and uh, this side is the side you want facing the window so that it faces outside, and this is the good side that you want to paint on. So I'm going to paint on the side, and I think we want the, sp the spots, like the Dalmatian spots, to go on like all over. So like from like the top to like the bottom. Oh my god, this is going to take me forever. So let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm nervous. So I keep looking at the reference photo. I am nervous. Okay. We're going to do it at the very corner here because, I don't know, just because. Okay. Oh my god. And I don't think it has to look perfect. I'm going to say that now just so that um, I make myself feel better when I look back at this and I told myself it didn't have to look perfect. So I think to make it look like Dalmatian print, you don't want it to be like specific shapes, right? Like you want it to look pretty organic. And so I'm just kind of like not, not making dots, not making polka dots or anything like that, just trying to make it seem just like really raw and organic and just irregular shapes because that looks more real I think um yeah so that's what I'm doing here and I'm trying to space them out so they're not too close to each other um just because I think that makes it look less cow like but uh I don't know I'm not a professional Dalmatian spot maker so the reason why I want to film like a YouTube video like this where I'm like sitting down and just, just straight DIYing and not so like, you know, no voiceovers, no like stuff like that is because I feel like my videos 
I haven't been as active on YouTube as you guys probably have noticed. And I just feel like my content was kind of going stale. I didn't love the content I was posting. And I think it's because I wasn't really truly being like my true self. Um, and I think it's just because like, um, I just wanted to fit in with other YouTubers and make content like they were. But I didn't love the way I was necessarily doing it. And I didn't love how I was filming it and a whole thing, you know? So here I am trying to find what I like and trying to make content that I like and just showing my true personality, my true self. I feel like um, at some point on YouTube, I felt like, I felt kind of pressured. Like I felt like I wanted to be like the bigger YouTubers. I wanted to be like the popular YouTubers. Um, but that's just not me. And so here we are without basically any makeup except for my brows because it's the only thing I decided to do to hopefully improve my looks today. Um, just sitting down and talking with you guys because that's what I want to do. So why not just do it? Um, I don't know how this is looking. <laughs> I'm just trying different like techniques here. I don't know. It's too soon to tell if this is going to be good. So that's that. So yeah, so what I was saying was that I um, just want to make content that I really enjoy watching myself and you know my YouTube channel is really small so like it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Nobody really cares I'm sure. Just me about the content I'm making and um, stuff like that but uh, I thought I'd share. Because why the heck not? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get a smaller brush. I think that's the right move. I think that's what I need to do. Cause this... Oh, it kinda looks nice from up here. Maybe it just doesn't look good up close. Regardless, I'm gonna get a smaller uh, paintbrush. Be right back. Okay, me and my smaller paintbrushes are back. And we're gonna give this a shot again um i don't think it's looking awful but i don't think it looks great oh yes this was the right move okay so tip number one as we go through this diy together use smaller brushes folks it just so much easier to control another suggestion is um probably don't use suede <laughs> it's just like the texture is like gripping onto the paintbrush and so it's doing it's it's just doing weird things i don't know oh oh i think it's looking good i think it's looking good uh the small brush was a freaking great move i'm so glad i followed my heart and did that i'm feeling good i like this so far Okay, I don't want to get too excited. I have a corner done. Not even done. I have a corner painted. And I have the rest of it. And potentially one more panel. So, this is going to be really long. And I'm probably going to turn off the camera to save some battery. Um, so, I will talk to you soon, okay? This has been, what, three hours? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, it's going quicker, though, because I'm not being as neat. So, in this corner here, um, this is the slowest zoom in the world. First and foremost, do you see these? Okay, do you see, oh god, my finger's too big, but do you see this? So, that's what, ha that's what happens when you, um, dilute it with too much water, so don't do that. Um use as little water as possible actually what i was going to say before i distracted myself as per usual this corner was like carefully done like i did it so carefully and i spent a lot of time there and if you go over this way i spent less time but it looks almost the same so i'm getting a lot quicker because i'm not trying to be like so neat and perfect again i am a perfectionist so this is a challenge for me but i think healthy for me probably as well so i'm just gonna let this 
dry in the meantime. I think most of it is dry, but I just finished this corner here, so that might still be wet. But uh, I'll, my next update will be when it's hopefully done. <laughs> Many months later. Are you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Oh god. Bam! Bam! Guys, the curtains are finally done. Oh my lord. And it's freaking Christmas. <laughs> okay, that's not Christmas. It's still technically November. But anyways. Ta-da. So I'm coming at you roughly four months later. <laughs> No, these curtains did not take four months, but they did take very long, if I'm being honest with you. They probably took me like two months. Okay, part of the reason why it took like two months for me to finish um, these curtains is because, one, I lost motivation. I lost hope. After the first two panels, I was like, damn, I gotta do two more. I actually disappeared for a month to Cambodia, so that's part of the reason why I didn't do an update sooner. But here we are, better late than never. Am I right? Let's talk about how I painted this, and hopefully my vocal instructions will be kind of helpful. Okay, starting out here, I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys in the fact that this looks handmade, for sure. When I put up this pair over here, um, these two panels here, I put them up and I was like, oh, this looks like a loser with a lot of time hand painted. And you know what? It's true. I am a loser with a lot of time. And I did hand paint it. And I didn't like it at first. But I posted a, a poll on Instagram. And a lot of you guys said that you do like it. And I think majority of you guys said you did like it. And I just needed validation. Now here we are. We are feeling good about our curtains. If you want it to look more printed versus hand painted. Uh, maybe add extra layers to it. It'll take you a lot longer. But hey. If you want these curtains, you gotta do what you gotta do. Next, moving on. It's clearly not Dalmatian print. So if you actually want true Dalmatian print, look at a reference photo. Because your girl had a reference photo, looked at it for a second, thought I had it memorized, did not, and ended up with curtains like this. I like these curtains, don't get me wrong, but they are not Dalmatian curtains, despite the title of this video. I added that to the white space because I simply got lazy and didn't want to do more of these spots, and I was scared that if I did too much of the spots, it would look like cow print or um, polka dots, which I didn't want. And now it doesn't look like, it doesn't look anything like Dalmatian. But if you want a Dalmatian look, just commit to the blobs. Just do the blobs, okay? I am honestly so happy with how they turned out, guys. My goodness. My goodness. Also, would recommend um, measuring properly so that your curtains touch the ground because it looks a lot better that way. But, like an amateur, I measured it wrong. So now we have floods. I'm very, very happy with the outcome. I think my living room looks so cute. Let me see if I can get, like, the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, excuse me. Sir? Quiet on the set, please. This is what my living room looks like right now. I think they're so quirky and fun. And, um, I don't know. I think it just suits my personality. And, uh, yeah. I like it. It's unique. It's fun. All right. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my weird, I don't even know, is this even a tutorial? Like I kind of showed you guys how I did the curtains, but I spent most of it just talking about my feelings and my thoughts about YouTube. So I don't know what this video is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video regardless. I hope you guys had fun um, watching me make this, I guess. I haven't done a YouTube video in a long time. I do not know how to end this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope to see you soon. Bye.